This first report, the Miami Dolphins had a turnover-happy practice. This report comes from Joe Shad of the Palm Beach Post. Perhaps the most notable was the first interception. Jay Cutler, looking deep for Devontae Parker in the end zone, was intercepted by Byron Maxwell for what would have been a pick six. Unfortunately for the Dolphins, that wasn't the end of the quarterback errors. Cutler's second interception was by Rashad Jones. There was also a fumbled handoff from Cutler to Kenyon Drake. Matt Moore was also intercepted by Ultron Werner and Maurice Smith. When Cutler found a wide open Jarvis Landry for a gain of about 15, it drew the loudest cheers at the point of the morning despite being a relatively routine, routine play. The highlight came when Cutler threw a well-placed 30-yarder to Devontae Parker who made a nice adjustment against Xavier Howard for the touchdown catch. So as for the interceptions, I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. This is only his second practice as a Dolphins. This is his first practice working with the ones, so he's got to build that chemistry uh, with the players. Um, and obviously his first practice, he didn't throw any interceptions. So I don't think there's anything, there's nothing to be concerned about. It's just his second practice in a Dolphins uniform. They, the good news to take out of this is Jay Cutler hooked up with Devontae Parker on a 30-yard bomb. Uh, that was a sick catch by uh, Devontae Parker, and Jay Cutler put it in the only place that he could get it. So that's a good sign that they're building that chemistry together um, and obviously he completed his first pass to Juice Landry uh, so those are you know some of the good things to take out of it is he's building chemistry with the football team because this is his first practice with the ones um, his first practice uh, ever as a Dolphin he did not work with the first team offense so this was his first time working with the first team offense um, and the second thing to take out of this is Alteron Werner uh, it's nice to see him make a play in red zone drills um, and picking off Matt Moore all right, we're going to do a quick rundown of all the biggest headlines from today's practice. This report comes from the Palm Beach Post. In addition to Ryan Tannehill and Ray Quan McMillan, who are out for the year, the Miami Dolphins continue without Pro Bowl running back Jay Ajayi. He sustained a concussion July 31st and has yet to be cleared for a return. He's riding an exercise bike during today's practice. Jay Cutler has officially moved into the first-team offense. He's taking the snaps that had been going to Matt Moore the past week or so. Both quarterbacks are having a rough morning. Cutler threw two interceptions in the end zone, and Matt Moore has a pick, two picks as well. Cutler connected on a 30-yard touchdown pass to Devontae Parker down the left sideline, and he beat Xavier Howard. The Dolphins' offensive line is a wreck. With Mike Pouncey already very limited and Ted Larson out long-term with a torn bicep, they now have Juwan James on the sideline. James was held out of the preseason game for what was assumed to be rest, but he's working on the sideline at today's practice. So an update on that injury, uh, he hurt his, he's had some uh, soreness in his shoulder. That's why he's been held out of so many practices, and that's why he was held out of the preseason game. Laramie Tunsil is working for the first time in a week. Pouncey took a few first-team snaps, making the first time he's done anything more than individual work since last season. The secondary is hurting as well. Projected starting Nate, safety Nate Allen remains out with a hamstring issue and backup Walt Aikens is mix, missing practice after hurting his back in the Atlanta Falcons game. So obviously most of this is bad news. Juwan James is hurt. Walt Aikens is hurt. Nate Allen's been hurt for like two weeks now. Uh, the injury bug has definitely bit the Miami Dolphins hard and it's tough to go through something like this. But at least it's happening now and not during the season. Um, hopefully they get healthy for week one of the regular season because uh, we need all of those guys on that list. They're all very, obviously very important contributors uh, to this Dolphins football team. The best news of the, the entire day by far was Mike Pouncey finally getting, getting in on 11 on 11 drills, which is fantastic. Obviously that's the first time he's done anything like that since last year, which is crazy. So it's nice to see Mike back. Um, hopefully we get him for a week one. They expect him to actually play a preseason game, which means, you know, that goes to tell you where he is at health wise all of you, and also uh, another thing that i forgot to mention jay cutler is officially going to play against the baltimore ravens um in week two's preseason game so everybody needs to get hyped for that i can't wait for that and i am skyx 1383 and that has been your miami dolphins training camp recap before we start the podcast, let's get through the rig and roll first. Remember, guys, this podcast posts each and every single Wednesday. The first segment of the show, we go through all the Miami Dolphins news you need to know about. The second segment of the show, we go through all the AFC East news you need to know about. The third segment of the show, we highlight some of the players that are must-watches on game day. And the fourth segment of the show, we go through the Miami Dolphins fan Q&A.